doing? I'm Mike Gaddy and welcome to this week's installment of COVID and Events. This week, I'm talking to you live from my hotel room in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm here for the Atlanta Travel and Adventure Show. First things first, I talked to John, the owner of the Travel and Adventure Show uh, today, and he expects attendance here in Atlanta to be fairly light, similar to what he had uh, last month in the Dallas Travel and Adventure Show. But here's the difference. In Atlanta right now, new infection rates are about 46% lower this week than they have been for the past two weeks. That's pretty significant. But still, it seems people aren't quite venturing out into live events. That said, there is a massive medical conference being planned and constructed a few halls down from the Travel Adventure Show. I did not see any kind of mask requirement signing or vaccine passport requirements. Um, at that event, which I found surprising. I'll try to figure out what, how many people actually attended and what that represents for their normal type of convention and let you know that on the next installment next week when we come to you from Santa Clara, California. By the way, I came across something on my LinkedIn, a bit of a controversy that event planners are having about requiring participants to provide vaccine proof of vaccine. Some suggested that it was a violation of HIPAA, require, uh, HIPAA laws, H-I-P-P-A-A, those laws which protect medical confidentiality. It is not a violation if you ask the participant directly for proof of vaccine. It is only a violation if you ask their medical provider without a medical release form. But if you ask the participant, it is perfectly fine. There are some jurisdictions, though, that will not allow you to ask for proof of vaccine. Texas comes to mind. That said, in small venues across the nation, specifically concert halls and bars that feature live music, almost all of them require some kind of proof of vaccination from both band performers and also attendees. So it is definitely something to consider when you're planning your event if you're going to ask for vaccine requirement, masks, etc. As we go forward, I think attendance will continue to tick up. I, it seems to me that hotels are starting to fill, restaurants are starting to fill, and I think live events are right around the corner. However, planning for live events for fourth quarter 2021 still seems off to me. And I base that on our search engine reports suggesting that there's not a lot of traffic searching terms that are uh, that you would search when you're planning events. They are still off about 25 to 30 percent. They were off a lot more than that. So hopefully it's coming back. I'll talk to you next week from Santa Clara, California, and give you my take from there.